social distancing is really important to managing the spread of coronavirus. But who would have imagined just how hard it is, especially as days of being cooped up at home turn into weeks and months and coronavirus cabin fever begins to set in? Yet while social distancing and self-isolation are challenging, they don't have to be miserable. And knowing what they may entail is a great first step to looking after yourself and even thriving as you navigate them. This is what prompted our colleague Michael Bernstein to develop a simple personal guide to self-care and social distancing in novel corona times. Michael divided his guide up into activities and behaviours to aid with difficult emotions, strategies for stress management, and tips for staying physically apart but socially connected. He also has tips for working from home that you can find in the links in the blurb below. Let's start, though, with how social distancing can make you feel and how to go about handling this. When your movements are restricted, your routines are disrupted, and you find yourself separated from friends and loved ones, you can find yourself struggling with boredom, loneliness, anxiety, or worries about how uncertain things are. This is where it's important to ensure that you have the essentials you need to not just survive, but to thrive. These may include everything from medications, toiletries and provisions, to sources of entertainment like games, books and movies. And don't forget about your pets and plants and their needs. But also remember not to be selfish and hoard, because we're all in this together. You should also become familiar with trusted news sources where you can keep up to date with what's happening. Information that's well presented and trustworthy can help reduce anxiety, but take care that you don't overdo it. At the same time, reaching out to people you care about and who care about you can also help tackle boredom, loneliness and feelings of anxiety. And when you do reach out, don't be afraid to talk about how you're feeling. But make sure you also take the time to simply enjoy the company of others and the memories that you're making together. In the same way, make an effort to do things you enjoy each day, especially after demanding tasks. Think about keeping a journal, write about things you're grateful for, and remember to regularly take deep breaths, stretch, exercise, and really importantly, get up from sitting down too long. Moving on, this is also a great time to try out new strategies for managing stress. For instance, take a look at what activities make you feel good and which ones don't. Experiment with creating new routines and habits and try adjusting what you do and when during the day to reduce stress. Be mindful of just how obsessed you're becoming with everything coronavirus. And remember that even though you should make sure you stay informed, too much news can really mess with your head. Rather, think about checking in on what's happening at certain times of the day. And remember that not everyone you talk to will want to hear the latest coronavirus update. At the same time, don't forget to reach out to friends, including those that live far away as well as those who are just around the corner. See how they're doing, share coping strategies, and talk about what brings you joy or even what makes you laugh. And of course, don't forget to take care of your mind and body while practicing social distancing. Manage your expectations for what you can achieve while at home. Eat healthily. Take time to rest, unwind, and enjoy life. And stay vigilant for early warning signs that you're not coping so well. And as you do all of this, remember to stay socially connected with others. Have virtual coffee with friends. Share meals over video links. Explore creative ways of distant socializing, whether exercising together, gaming, forming virtual bands, or even hosting online story slams. Chat with friends and colleagues through the day. Check in on loved ones and let them know it's okay for them to check in on you. And strange as this may sound, learn to appreciate the space that comes with social distancing. 
Treat it as a chance to slow down, start new projects, practice hobbies, and learn new things. Most importantly of all, though, take care of yourself as coronavirus forces us all to learn how to be socially close while being physically distant. And stay safe.